This video will demonstrate how to use the Visio off-page reference shape within a DTools SI5 project. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open the stencil that contains the shape, and it is a built-in Visio stencil. Go to File, Shapes, Flowchart, and then choose Basic uh, Flowchart Shapes US Units, or if you happen to be working in metric, choose the metric one. This is going to dock in the Shapes window over here in Visio. And here's the shape right here. So in this example, what I want to do is I want to remove this receiver and these speakers and put them on this full office audio page. Basically, they're part of this system, but I want to clear up room on this page to continue the system. And plus, since this is part of a larger system, I want to have more room to uh, design. So I want these removed, but I want to be able to keep this wire connection here on the reports, this wire that's connecting these two. Um, but in order to do that, a couple steps need to be taken. The first thing I want to do is get these shapes, the receiver and the speakers, over to this other page. Now, uh, historically in SI5, if you selected shapes and, and copied them or cut them from one Visio page and then tried to paste them on another, uh, you were prompted to add products to your uh, bill of materials. It's part of the internal coding in our software. Uh, however, we did change a setting recently. Uh, we added a setting, I should say, under Details Options within a uh, Visio project file, if you go to the general tab here, you'll see this prompt to add new products when shapes are pasted into drawing programs. Uncheck that and hit save. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shapes here that I want to uh, remove from this page and I'm going to hit uh, control X on my keyboard or you can right click and cut them if you prefer that. Uh, they've been removed from the page and now I'm going to go over to the full office audio tab here and I'm going to paste Again, you could use Control V for that as well. And this is going to go ahead and paste these on the page. Now, notice my wires became disconnected. Uh, that's common when you move uh, shapes like this when they're selected all at once. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, make that reconnection real quick. Let's take these and put them right back where they were. Okay. So now. We've removed this, uh, these products, I should say, from this other page. What I want to do now is go back and reference that receiver uh, to the end of this, this wire here. Now, I don't have to connect it to this wire because this is a uh, standard Visio shape, so there's, it's not going to read any data. But I'm going to leave this wire connected here because I want it to report back to the uh, wire schedule and wire label reports inside of SI5. So just go ahead and drag your off-page reference shape and place it on the page. Uh, this little dialog is going to open up here, and you have the option of connecting this to a new page that you can name, and it will create a brand new Visio tab down here for you. Uh, but in my case, I'm going to choose a, an existing page, and I'm going to select one of the existing pages, in this case, the full office audio. Now, go ahead and leave these two options here checked. They're the default options. What this one will do, it's going to drop um, another one of these shapes over on my full office audio page automatically for me. And then this one, insert hyperlinks uh, on the shapes, it means I'm going to be able to double click the um, shape and have it take me over to the other page, which is kind of the point of this off page reference. Uh, now, if you want consistent text, if you are planning to add text to the shape and you want it to uh, synchronize between the two shapes, between the, this current page and this full office audio page, you can check this box. Uh, but in this case, I want to keep them independent. So I'm simply going to click OK. Now, notice. Uh, Visio automatically took me over to the full office audio page here, and if you scroll over here, you'll see in the upper left-hand corner, they've placed the off-page reference, uh, off reference shape. Now, you can leave this up in the corner if you'd like, but it makes more sense to pull this over closer to the shape that you're referencing on the page. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and get this kind of lined up there, and maybe resize that a little bit. Now, um, one more step that you really want to do in order to um, have consistency on your uh, wiring reports is I need to get the wire that's back on this page here over to the other page so I can add it to the uh, the drawing and make my this end of the wire connection so it'll actually report correctly. So I'll just right-click this wire, go to D-Tools, uh, find in the project data matrix, and if you pull up your project data matrix, you'll see that the wire is selected over here. And then I'll simply click this tab. Notice the wire is still selected, it's just no, not on this page. You can see there's no Visio icon there. Drag this over to the page and make your wire connection. I'll zoom in a little bit here, maybe shrink this wire up here, 
and pull that into position. And I'll probably move that out slightly. But there, I've made that end of the wire connection. And that's essentially it. Uh, however, if you'd like to add text uh, to these um, off-page reference shapes, you can do that by clicking the text tool button when you have the shape selected. And in this case, uh, I'm going to reference the uh, processor on the other page. And when you're done, make sure you click your pointer tool. And I can go back now to the previous page, maybe resize that a little bit. And while it's selected, click the text tool and type in receiver. Again, go back to your pointer tool. Uh, you can also hit control one on your keyboard, by the way, to go back to the pointer tool. But now, if I go ahead and uh, I'll just zoom out on this page and I'll zoom out on this page. If I double click this shape, it takes me right back to the other page and you can see that the off page reference shape on this page happens to be highlighted and that's how you're going to be able to find these. So uh, it's really just that simple. Now uh, don't think that you have to use this off page reference or are limited to using this off page reference on the same page types like schematic to schematic. I could certainly put an off page reference shape right next to this particular product here and then show where uh, it is on another page like an elevation, show where it exists in a rack, or I could show where it exists on a plan view page if I choose. So it's a pretty useful uh, tool built uh, right into Visio.